Mexico City like a big playground When suddenly a Batman burst from the shade And hit Godzilla with a bat grenade Godzilla got pissed and began to attack But didn't expect to be blocked by Shaq Who proceeded to open up a can of Shaq through When Aaron Carter came out of the blue And he started Like a big playground when suddenly a Batman burst from the shade And hit Godzilla with a bat grenade Godzilla got pissed and began to attack But didn't expect to be blocked by Shaq Who proceeded to open up a can of Shaq through When Aaron Carter came out of the blue And he started beating up Shaquille O'Neal Then they both got flattened by the Batmobile But before we could make it back to the Batcave Abraham Lincoln popped out of his grave Alright, right. welcome to a night Another side edition to this fun fast show and today we got a good one today because no, it's late. It's officially, that's right, your boy's birthday, officially 30 years old today. Ain't that something? I have reached the age of 30. I am totally excited, but it's late. I'm like tired of my mind on video games and I'm on Facebook. I'm doing all these things at once right now. But uh, this is, again, this is another side edition of the Fun Fast Show because, like, again, oh, 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 wait, before I forget. I want to do a couple of shout outs to a couple of people who I, you know, who purchased oh, today and oh, they are really close to my heart. Uh, first of all, Melissa Kern, uh, I knew you since Jesus, since elementary. Happy 30th birthday to you. My boy Devin Red, you know, uh, I don't know how old you are, but again, happy birthday to you too, my brother. Happy birthday to you. Uh, again, this is a side edition of the Fun Fast Show because right now, uh, I actually saw a couple of movies over the, over the past couple of weeks. And uh, I saw three of them. I didn't. Three of them are actually pretty good in my book. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> oh, forget. <forget. coughs> <sighs> okay, I'm back. Um. Anyway, uh, again, aside, like I said before, before the cough started, uh, I got something totally exciting. You know, what I'm saying again, this is totally original. It's the fun fact show, and I, and I, I try my best to keep it original as possible. But like as I told you in the very first video, uh, I'm just just going to talk about video games and update, uh, just not, not just updates on things I'm doing, but uh, I'm just talking about movies in general, video games, anime. I'm doing it all. You know what I'm saying? That's how I am. I'm random. The king of randoms. You know me. You love me. But anywho, like I was saying, uh, the first one I, I do want to talk about is uh, Gangster Squad. No, I wish I had a poster of it, but you know, try to zoom in for y'all a little bit. Wait, wait, there, ah, there it goes, there it goes. Thanks, SWAT. All right, Gay Squad is, of course, rated R, but uh, this movie, now, I love movies that's based on true, true stories, and I, I, I did that. Like, you know, I got that from my dad. He loved watching like bios of diff different actors, celebrities, like, like he loved uh, American Gangster, but that's another, that's another movie for another time. I'm going to talk about these three awesome movies right now. Uh, again, Gangster Squad is one of my top favorite, one of my favorite movies I've seen this year, and I, and I also loved it. Uh, again, just the names off the cast is we got Josh Brolin, Ryan Gosling, Nick Nolte, Emma Stone, and Sean Penn. Sean Penn, uh, I'm not really used to him seeing playing villain type characters, but he played a good job of this character named Mickey, Mickey Cohen, who's just like, like this low thug from Chicago who rises in the ranks in LA. Uh, basically, like uh, Sean Penn's character, Nicky Cohen. If if y'all actually know the story about Gangster Squad, uh, basically what he is, he's like this ruthless, he's ruthless uh, crime boss, and he's basically trying to take over LA as much as possible. Uh, Nick Nolte's character, he played this, uh, he played this uh, chief police character. He get he get uh he get Josh Brolin character, who is actually a cop character, uh, and he's basically trying to get this like this sort of like kind of narc squad type of guys. Whose main job to, is to sabotage Nikki Cohen, uh, Mickey Cohen, excuse me, Mickey Cohen's operation, and I, yeah, I think it's a, yeah, to me, I think I gave it an awesome movie. Uh, I, awesome, I think I make rain, y'all go see it. But, um, but this is how I rate things on the Rooster Bros. Fun Fact Show on when I'm talking about movies, animes, and video games, whatnot. So basically, uh, how I do it, I like I rate the cast, I rate the story. Uh, I know I, I also rate things like that. That I, I lose anything within the story, but anyway, cast wise, a great, great amount of cast. Actually, uh, again, like I said before, uh, we got Josh Brolin, Ryan Gosling, Nick Nolte, Emma Stone, Sean Penn. Also, what they didn't show, we got Robert Patrick from the Terminator Two movies. Uh, what's got? I can't remember this, this young black guy's name, but he also supposed to be on Captain America Two. Uh, y'all know who I'm talking about. Y'all, if y'all follow, uh. You follow, if you follow cover movies, but like I said before, uh, how I rate, like I said, how I rate them pretty much cast stories 
and it was it was like it, it's very like a it's a grit is 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 very grit. I would have to say that about the movie. It was very grit, and uh, and basically and like and I kind of like I said me I'm a I love action action and horror is one of my top movies I love to watch, but uh, cast wise. I gave it a ten. I love the cast. I, I, everything. I did my homework on the two. I also did my homework on Gangster Squad, and I, you know, what I'm saying the, and the characters definitely kind of fit. Uh, get cast as well. Like I said, cast. I get that. Like, like I said, how I rate things here. I guess I rate from a scale from one to ten. And like I said, Gangster Squad. In my book for the cast wise is a uh, ten out of ten. Love direction. Love the cast. Story wise, I gave it maybe at eight, eight point five. I gave it an eight. Uh, eight and a half, eight point five out of ten. I mean, it, you know, it's, you know, it's based on real story. You knows I no, like sometimes you don't you don't see too much originality into that. Uh, that's the first one again. Gang Squad, love it. Go see it again. Rated R. And uh, on to my next movie, which is actually a horror type movie. It's called Mama. Uh, here you go. See a little picture there, Mama. Hope y'all can see it. Try to keep it in the frame there for you, Mama. Uh. Uh, it was presented by uh, the guy who directed uh, Pan Slavic, Emicio Del Toro, who also directed the Hellboy movies. He also directed, uh, directed Blade 2, excuse me. Um, basically, what, what Mama is, again, trying try not to give too much away in, in the story, but basically, it's uh, these two kids, they're abandoned, uh, they're abandoned by pretty much uh, parentless. And uh, some kind of basically some kind of entity, called, called, who the kids call Mama, pretty much uh, you no know, takes them in. But when they go to the house, live with their uncle, uh, apparently Mama comes with them. Again, I can't really tell say too much about it without giving too much away. Uh, all in all, since I said it is a horror movie, I do like you know, I do like horror movies. Now, like I'm letting everybody know right now. Uh, Cast wise, I can't really remember the cast that much. Maybe Jessica Chastain. I can't remember what movie she was off of, but I don't recognize the name. But cast, uh, Mamba again. I think Mamba is a really good, decent, scary movie. Uh, I actually kind of liked it. I stuck with the story. Really good story. Story wise, I gave the story um uh, a nine. I gave the story a nine, a, a nine out of ten. Um, I was good with the story. Uh, eight point five. Excuse me. Eight. I was eight point five for the cast. Not really too. I didn't even know the cast that well. That's what made for Jessica uh, Chastain. Uh, it does have definitely scary elements. That's why, and that's also on Pinner Ray for scary movies as well. Is that little jump element where you, you least suspect it? It has a lot of that. Ain't no, no, do what you bring your girl with you. <laughs> hold them tight. You know what I'm saying? Girls, hold on to your dudes tight. Uh, great. I did my god, uh, great. But overall, I gave it an 8.5. Now, again, I'm not, now you asking why I gave it a movie 8.5. I'm not gonna give too much away. Just know, uh, if you go see yourself, you probably understand why I get an 8.5. Again, once again, folks, that was Mama. Now, for the last movie I actually saw during the past couple of weeks was actually one I really, uh, really wanted to see. That's somebody called my name. This movie right here. That's right. Wait, wait. Haunted house. Haunted house. Haunted house. Now, what well, Haunted House was is basically a spoof for every paranormal movie out there, from the like it it, it take advantage of the little POV move or first person move with using a camcorder. It, now, I was actually waiting for a movie, somebody to make a move, spoof of this movie. Who are they doing? Then like Marlon Wayans or from the Wayans Brothers, the guys who helped create the scary movie movie franchise. It was great. It was hilarious. Uh, cast wise, uh, let's, let's just now the cast. We got Marlon Wayans, Essen Atkins, Cedric Entertainer, Nick Sorensen, David Coulter. Coulter. I hope I'm saying this name right. Uh, well, low cast again. The cast was pretty much great. Basically, like I said, with uh, Hunter House, basically what they were doing, they were making spoofs of like Paranormal, The Devil Inside. Uh, again, the movie was definitely funny, and and for me to actually. To me, to actually like a movie like that, because I'm I, like I said, action, comedy, and horror is one of my three movies I love to watch. And but for them to make a spoof of like paranormal movies is actually hilarious. And uh, what, what the thing is with the paranormal movies, like, I already wasn't a big fan of paranormal activity movies, and I still want to go see it because I was praying to God, hoping that each one be better than the last one. But obviously, it wasn't except for four, four was actually good, and I did enjoy four. 
But uh, but back to Haunted House game. Awesome cast, f great funny moments. Someone's someone's will actually will sick you uh, will sicken you out, but actually hilarious. Uh, it's too great, too funny. But basically, uh, the story is like uh, Marlon Wayne's character whose name is Malcolm. His girlfriend moves in with him, and basically, what ends up they, they got they, a ghost pretty much haunts them. And now they're trying to figure out some kind of what they did with the ghost. But at the same time, like more funny moments ensue. It's I believe me, I had tears in my eyes laughing at this movie. This movie was pretty much hilarious. But on to the ratings. <coughs> Excuse me. Cast wise, ten out of ten. Love the cast. Awesome movie. Story, ten out of ten. Love the story. Like I love comedy, and I like how I kind of made fun. Or the paranormal movies, the devil inside movies. It was just great, great again, great cast, great story to me. in my eyes, great story. And overall, ten out of ten. On the house. Now you may, you may, now you may ask me, uh, Terrence, why would you rate your, the Hot House a, a ten out of ten out of out of Mama and Guess Squad? Like, like I said, like I, I love movies. Don't get me wrong. Like sometimes, like sometimes. In my eyes, comedy don't actually rate that high, unless uh, to me, comedy don't really don't rate that high in my books. Not every time it depends. Like I say, it depends on the story, depends on the cast. Like with like sometimes, like for, for instance, I'll I'll actually go say it. the first Crippled Hawk movie, terrible. But and the first time I actually saw that movie, which I am going to do a uh, fun fact show on the Hawk movie as well, pretty much on comic book movies in general. Uh. They had everything wrong about that movie. I did not like the movie at all. Uh, you may hate me because I said it, but you no, know, like I said, you know, it, it, it's my opinion. This is my show. If you, you got opinion, if you got a different opinion against mine, make your own show. Do what you want to do. I don't care. But this is my show. My rules go, and that's how I'm gonna leave it at that. Now take it how you want it. Pow. But like I said, um, also other things too. You no, know, just not rated movies, but also I'm doing uh, just letting you know a couple of updates that I told y'all about. And the first fun fact show, um, uh, I also want to say like uh, the, the God, what's up? What, oh, not nothing ordinary. Excuse me. Wow, I lost my train off there. Nothing ordinary. It's still in his writing pages. Uh, again, working out with Miss Nikki Johnson. We are you no, know, we getting together. Still coming up with decent ideas for the show. Um, you no, know, it's, it's come, it's coming along great. You no, know, until we, uh, like I say, I, I'm not gonna get too much more onto it. But once I get more into it, I may, hopefully one day I might have a title for y'all. Might post it up on Facebook one day. Uh, again, uh, again, uh, Alter again with Mr. Nice Burgess. Also, we are uh, work, uh, working on that together. Well, uh, pretty much we're doing good. Everything coming on. We we kind of took a break for a minute with working on the story because uh, I'm trying to work on my own thing as well. But uh, like I said, it's coming along right now. My personal project. Oh, uh, the one the one of the personal projects I am working on is a Mugen, uh music video. Called the Ultimate Showdown. The theme song that I use for the uh, Fun Fest show. Basically, the uh, Ultimate Showdown is by by the artist named Lemon Diamond. I think that's Lemon Demon. Excuse me, uh, the group. So basically, I saw like little parody videos of that. So I'm gonna do one of my own, but using sprite characters. Uh, again, more on details on that too. Uh, that's pretty much all the updates I have for you guys for this episode of Fun Fest show. Again, happy birthday to Melissa Kern, happy birthday to Devin, wish y'all the best. Uh, no, I can't have birthday to myself. Or well, me. You know, so I can't I can't forget happy birthday to myself. Uh keep reading the fun facts, keep watching more fun facts show. Peace out. Love you guys. Yep, I guess I'm gonna picture.